Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, but you can call me Lordy and tell we're back on Paragon once again on the official website post of version 35, the Monolith update release notes, and we're going to talk about all the hero changes that will be coming in this update, the hero updates, the reworks for the heroes, and also what heroes are buffed, nerfed, and rebalanced. We're going to talk about all that within this video, every single hero. It's going to be one bloody amazing and interesting video indeed. But before we get into this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button to keep up to date with all the greatest and latest Paragon Gaming content and Paragon Gaming news. And mates, make sure you turn on notifications by hitting that little bell button next to the subscribe button so you guys can be the first mates that do get the news as quick as possible. And as always, expect it here first. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So now we go through all the hero changes. All damage now scales with a new cast stat, power. Damage, armor, and health of all heroes have been adjusted. Mana cost of all abilities have been adjusted. Movement speed for all heroes has been increased, and that's the base movement speed for the heroes. Many animations, projectiles, and other effects have been adjusted to fit with the new speeds. We thought this was going to happen, especially with the travel mode hovering effect that does happen with some characters, like Muriel and obviously Gideon. Those look super cool, and they're going to integrate in some type of way that goes along with actual movement speeds of the new game. Most attack and ability ranges have been reduced in length to account for new speeds, understandable. All slow values have been adjusted to account for new speeds. Basic attack range for all range heroes has been decreased from 1,500 units to 1,200 units. Not that bad to be honest. A quick little thing before we move on, this could be a long update, so most likely this will be broken into two parts, if not hopefully just one part. And now let's move on to a hero that's going to cop the biggest rework or update on the actual character, and that is obviously Twin Blast. Let's see what he actually has. Now has the Growth Affinity in addition to the Fury Affinity. He used to be Solar Fury, and now he's got Growth and Fury as his affinities. Rapid Fire, previously Nitro, which is his alternate ability, has been redesigned. Activatable ability that causes Twin Blast to shoot three times in rapid succession, dealing 30, 35, 40, and 45% damage to heroes, and 45% damage to non-heroes. Key remapped. Rapid Fire deals basic attack damage, can crit and applies all normal on hit effects. Cooldown is 7 seconds. So that's the new version of Rapid Fire, has been redesigned, it's pretty interesting. Let's move on to his next ability, and that is his Grenade, which is his primary ability. This has also been redesigned. Now has 3 charges, Grenades now only deal damage and have no slow component. So the slow has been taken, you got more damage out of the actual ability and you get 3 grenades. The key is remapped, explosion time reduced from 1 second to 0.4 seconds, damage type adjusted from physical to ability, ammo recharge time is now 14, 12, 10, and 8 seconds. I'm guessing the ammo recharge is obviously how long it takes for each grenade to come back into your actual kit, so most likely you'll end up holding 3 grenades out of the sounds of it, and then every 8 seconds, if you reach your end game or you put enough points into it, every 8 seconds you'll get a charge from that ability so you can use another grenade. Let's move on to the next ability, and that is his Rocket Dash ability, his secondary ability. Key has been remapped, cooldown adjusted from 15, 14, 13, 12, to 18, 16, 14, 12. So obviously in the early game, if you do see him use his Rocket Dash, it's going to be easier to abuse him because of the actual cooldown on that ability is going to be a little bit higher than before. And now his ultimate, Ventilate. Previously it was called Barrage, and obviously they changed that, and now it's been redesigned. Twin Blast now shoots 30 shots over 3 seconds. Oh my god, guys. Key has been remapped. Range is 2,600 units. Wow, that's a massive amount of units. Damage type adjusted from physical to ability. No longer pierces or deals AoE damage. No longer slows Twin Blast while active. Cooldown is 90, 70, and 50 seconds. This sounds amazing, but 30 shots over 3 seconds, I don't think it's going to be basic attack damage in any way possible, or the, whatever they're going to call it after this, because now we know it as physical and they're going to change their ability, but I don't think it's going to be like his basic attacks in any way possible. I'm guessing these 30 shots are pretty much rapid shots right after each other. I'm guessing that those 30 shots are shot in one wave like a character from another game, and his name is Lucian from League of Legends. His ultimate does the exact same thing, how it sounds of it. So that's kind of interesting, and the cooldown of that ability, 50 seconds when you put 3 points into it, Sounds amazing. So the rework for Twin Blast is going to be one interesting one indeed. I can't wait to actually play it. So there's no CC with him, but it looks like he's going to be really aggressive to verse, which is something I really want to play. Oh my god, guys, that's going to be so much hype for that. Now let's move on to the next hero, and that is Counters. The first ability is Shadow Slip. Damage time adjusted from physical to ability. Cooldown reduced from 15 to 10 seconds. 
Range reduced from 1100 to 850. Dark type damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Cooldown reduced from 17, 16, 15, 14 to 8 seconds at all levels. Blaze Siphon damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Cooldown reduced from 12, 11, 10, 9 to 8 seconds at all levels. Feast damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Cooldown reduced from 100, 90, 80 to 170 and 40 seconds. Oh my god, 40 seconds for a Feast Ultimate. That sounds so dirty. You can pretty much roam constantly around the map and just use your ultimate as counters. That is actually really cool to see. With this character, I feel like it's been rebalanced, but it's got a slight buff due to the fact that the cooldown reduction of the certain abilities are pretty great. But it's nothing too crazy. I'm just going to count this as a rebalance for counters. Let's move on to Kalari. Shadow Walk. Basic attacks from stealth now deal 250% normal damage. Base attacks from stealth can no longer crit. Base attacks from stealth no longer deal bonus ability damage. Base attacks, crippling dagger, backflip, and all other abilities other than death sentence will no longer prevent Shadow Wolf from activating during the fade time. Reduce cooldown from 20, 19, 18, 17 to 15 seconds at all levels. Crippling dagger, damage type from physical to ability, cooldown reduced from 15 to 6 seconds at all levels. Oh my god. Range of projectile has been increased from 2000 to 3000. Projectile speed has been increased, so that's good to see. So it's pretty much like a pinpoint accuracy type of thing when you chuck your crippling dagger. Slow duration decreased from 3 to 1 second, so the crippling dagger isn't so crippling, but that doesn't matter. Slow magnitude has been increased significantly. For that 1 second, they're going to be slow for high amount or high flat amount. We don't know what that exact amount is at the moment, but it's all cool. Her next ability, backflip, cooldown reduced from 18, 17, 16, 15 to 18, 15, 12, and 9 seconds. Death Sentence, which is obviously her ultimate. Damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Cooldown reduced from 125, 115, and 105 to 110 seconds at all levels. Now deals base damage plus scaling rather than doing a multiplayer on your basic attacks. So this is kind of interesting. Do I think this is a buff? Oh, this is going to be actually hard. Crippling Dagger sounds like it's pretty OP. A majority of abilities are ability damage from physical, so it's going to be very interesting to see how that works. Uh, Shadow Walk is obviously interesting because of the increased damage you can do normally when you just get out of stealth. So that's going to be very interesting to see. I feel like she's going to be forced to be reckoned with when it does get released onto Monolith. Let's move on to the next hero, my favorite hero, Feng Mao boys. Let's see what's going on with this hero. Reaping Dash, damage time adjusted from physical to ability. Cooldown reduced from 19 to 10 seconds at all levels. Animation speed has been increased. Projectile speed has been increased. So that's pretty nice. Nothing too crazy there. Hamstring damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Animation speed has increased. Cooldown adjusted from 17, 16, 15, 14 to 20, 18, 16, and 14 seconds. So that's obviously a kind of a nerf there, but it doesn't matter. Conversion shield, cooldown reduced from 20 to 12 seconds at all levels. Shield values adjusted to 125, 225, 325, 425 at the final stage. So obviously that looks like it's got a buff, so that's very good. Earth Shatter, damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Animation speed has been increased. That is one thing that I wanted to see on that character. Target range increased from 667 to 800. Something that we needed to see because that ultimate was so hard to hit a majority of the time. Unless you had a slow or stun on the enemy team. So you're able to land your ultimate. But now it seems like it's going to be quite easier. Cooldown reduced from 190. 80 seconds to 90, 70, 50 seconds. There's no longer a shield component to this ability. Oh, I like the shield component. They took that away, boys. Oh, it's so hard to think if he's good or not in the new actual update. His ultimate is going to do damage, don't get me wrong, and you'll be able to land it easier. He's got a shield ability through his conversion, and the cooldown of that has been reduced. He's pretty much got his animations and projectile speeds increased, so that's pretty good. But I don't think he's in like a OP position at this current moment. I think he's just got rebalanced and that's pretty much it. Greystone, make way. Damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Cooldown reduced from 25, 24, 23, 22 to 12 seconds at all levels. Stoic, adjusted values to be in line with game rebalance. Assault the gates. Damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Cooldown reduced from 17, 16, 15, 14 to 18, 15, 12 and 9 seconds. Reforge, which is his ultimate, damage type adjusted from physical to ability, redesigned, enemies damaged by Reforge are no longer knocked up and stunned. When Grayson dies, all enemies around him are slowed. This slow is more powerful closer to the center. Reforge no longer puts make way and assault the gates on additional 5 second cooldown. 
cooldown reduced from 240, 180, 120 to 180, 130 and 80 seconds. So it's kind of interesting there. His ultimate obviously got changed. We knew about that ages ago. The damage scaling or the cooldown is pretty much nothing too crazy. So I'm guessing Greystone is still in a good position. If his actual slow ability on his Reach Forge does activate straight away after he dies, that is me really scary because you'll be stuck there and you'll be able to get out until he actually comes back. So that's me one terrifying component when it comes to team fights. So he's maybe somewhat stronger because obviously the cooldown of the actual Reach Forge ability, which means he can come back alive more often, is going to be very scary. And now let's move on to Grux. Smash and grab, damage type adjusted from physical to ability, animation speed has been increased significantly. Reduced range from 1250 to 700. Width has been increased into a wedge shape instead of a cone shape. Cooldown has been reduced from 19 to 14 seconds and all levels. VFX has been adjusted. That ability on Grux kind of got a nerf because of the range on the actual ability has been reduced by quite a bit. But hopefully with the movement speed being changed as well, maybe it's easier to actually land this ability in the wider cone shape it does have or the wedge shape that it will have. It's been very interesting to see. Charge, damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Animation speed has been increased. Cooldown has been reduced from 16 to 12 seconds at all levels. Double pain, damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Cooldown has been reduced from 10 to 5 seconds at all levels. Warlord challenge, animation speed has been increased. Cooldown has been reduced from 100, 90, 80, 290, 70, and 50 seconds. Wow, man. Do I think he's in a good position, man? I don't know. I actually don't know. Obviously, the cooldowns have been reduced. That's expected in the majority of heroes. But the actual kit, it looks like they had to obviously rebalance him because his smash and grab ability was so broken. Sometimes you wouldn't even be in the range and it'll still pull you. So it was kind of BS, but hopefully with the new changes to the actual smash and grab, he'll be in a better position. He won't be OP or buffed. He'll be pretty much rebalanced. So he's not nerfed at all, like completely nerfed. He got nerfed a bit to make him rebalanced, if that makes any sense. Let's move on to the next hero, and that is Quang. Judgment of the Heavens, damage type adjusted from physical to ability, projectile speed has been increased, cooldown has been reduced from 19 to 21, 18, 15, and 12 seconds. So you get an increased cooldown on that ability. Gift of the Heavens, adjust values to be in line with game rebalance. Light of the Heavens, damage type adjusted from physical to ability, cooldown has been adjusted from 14 to 18, 16, 14, and 12 seconds. Fear of the Heavens, damage type adjusted from physical to ability, Cooldown has been reduced from 100, 90, 80 to 85, 70, and 55 seconds. So pretty much this character will be stronger in the late game because of his cooldown reduction. His early game actual cooldown abilities that we have right now in Legacy won't be able to carry on to the new map as you see. So pretty much he'll be stronger in the mid game stages towards the late game. But he still has potential in the early game. That is guaranteed. Quang is a wonderful character. Let's move on to Chimera. With the first ability being unleashed. Cooldown has been reduced from 15 to 10 seconds at all levels. Damage reduction now affects total basic attacks, not just card scaling. So your Unleash ability kind of got a nerf at it, but obviously you get the nice cooldown of 10 seconds at all levels, so that's pretty interesting. Spirit Regeneration reduced max stacks to 25. Health Regen adjusted to 1, 1.75, 2.5, 3.25 per stack. Stack duration reduced from 5 to 2.2 seconds. Ambush and Call also apply a stack when they land. Attacking structures no longer apply stacks. Oh my god, guys. I think Chimera got kind of a big nerf. But obviously, he can use his other abilities now to stack his spirit regeneration. So that's kind of interesting. But I feel like that's a massive nerf. Even though they've adjusted the health regen to make it, I think, a little bit higher per stack. But still, it's kind of interesting. Let's move on to the other ability that is Ambush. Damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Cooldown has been reduced from 17, 16, 15, 14 to 5 seconds at all levels. No longer applies a mini stun. Targets will now be massively slowed when hit by ambush. The mini stun was so good for interrupting ultimates that pretty much characters that do use channeling ultimates, you can interrupt them and stop them. Looks like you won't be able to do that anymore with the ambush ability. Cull, which is obviously the ultimate. Damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Animation speed has been increased. During kill, affected enemy targets is stunned. Cooldown has been reduced from 100, 90, 80 to 90, 70, and 50 seconds. So overall, I think it could have copped a nerf. Like, I know they're trying to rebalance the actual character, but I feel like the potential of this character is only in the early game, and you have to 100% win it. Because if you don't, it's going to become completely irrelevant. Sometimes on Legacy at this current moment, if you do lose in the early game, you still have somewhat of a potential to win in the mid game towards the late game. If you do play right, but I feel like it's going to be really hard to play right now. 
especially with the kit being changed like that. But either way, it's still a decent hero if you want to play it. Let's move on to Gadget, and the first ability being Sticky Mine. Cooldown reduced from 15 to 8 seconds at all levels. Damage type adjusted from energy to ability. Animation speed has been increased, projectile speed has been increased, explosion time reduced from 4 to 2 seconds, speed gate damage type adjusted from energy to ability, cooldown adjusted from 20 to 22, 19, 16 and 13 seconds, speed bonus has been rebalanced, seek and destroy, damage type adjusted from energy to ability, cooldown adjusted from 18, 17, 16, 15 to 10 seconds at all levels, Tesla Dome which is obviously the ultimate for gadget, damage type adjusted from energy to ability, Tick rate adjusted from 1.1 to 0.73 per second, still deals 5 ticks of damage. Activation time reduced from 1 to 0.66 seconds. Total time of ultimate reduced from 6.5 to 4.3 seconds. Cooldown adjusted from 100, 90, 80 to 110, 90 and 70 seconds. Oh my god guys, I feel like this character, Gadget, is actually going to be really strong. The cooldown, the actual animation, the explosion times, the ticking damage on the Tesla Dome, it's all perfect. Honestly, I feel like Gadget's the first one to be like really OP. So I have a prediction on that from my other video, because I obviously got to play there and tested there. But obviously that was with the legacy changes and some other little changes here and there. But nothing too insane. And then now seeing this, I feel like our prediction was right and Gadget's going to be one strong character. Let's move on to Gideon. Cosmic Rift. Animation speed has been increased. Projectile speed has been increased. Damage type adjusted from energy to ability. Cooldown adjusted from 13 to 8 seconds at all levels. Taunt space, animation speed has been increased. Cooldown adjusted from 15 to 12 seconds at all levels. Burden, damage type adjusted from energy to ability. Projectile speed has been increased. Cooldown adjusted from 20 to 10 seconds at all levels. Black hole, which is the ultimate. Damage type adjusted from energy to ability. Animation speed has been increased. Ability deals damage over 3.5 seconds, down from 5 seconds. Overall damage has not been reduced. Relative damage of the ability has not been modified. Cooldown adjusted from 100, 90, 80, 210, 90, and 70 seconds. So obviously, this character is in a good position as well. Nothing bad about him in any way possible. So Cass is looking pretty bright at the moment. Obviously, his black hole ability is going to do quite a bit of damage. The same bit of damage, but in less time, in 3.5 seconds instead of 5 seconds. So that is pretty good. And now let's move on to Howitzer, R2000 Missile, damage type adjusted from energy to ability, projectile speed has been increased, cooldown adjusted from 12, 11.5, 11, 10.5 to 8 seconds at all levels, landmine, damage type adjusted from energy to ability, projectile speed has been increased, cooldown adjusted from 17, 16, 15, 14 to 22, 19, 16 and 13 seconds, slow grenade, damage type adjusted from energy to ability, Projectile speed has been increased, cooldown reduced from 20 to 12 seconds at all levels, make it rain, damage type adjusted from energy to ability, animation speed has been increased, projectile speed has been increased, can no longer be countered by Howitzer, cooldown reduced from 115, 105, 95 to 90, 70 and 50 seconds. Why are all the casters shining bright these days? In Monolith, it's going to be really crazy, the casters are really strong. We did mention Howitzer being one of the strong heroes or the best heroes for Monolith and it's great to see that it actually reflects within this blog post because all these cooldowns are really good and all these speeds and actual abilities have all been sped up and that's really amazing to see. And now let's move on to Iggy and Scorch, Flame Tower ability damage type adjusted from energy to ability. All spill damage type adjusted from energy to ability, cooldown reduced from 17, 16, 15, 14 to 8 seconds, oh my god guys. All sleek damage type adjusted from energy to ability. Cooldown decrease from 24, 23, 22, 21 to 18, 16, 14 and 12 seconds. Flame Belch, which is obviously the ultimate for Iggy and Scorch. Damage type adjusted from energy to ability. Cooldown reduced from 100, 90, 80 to 90, 75 and 60 seconds. Okay, this is seeming like the most broken hero at the current moment. Pretty much is the exact same thing we have in Legacy. The most annoying hero, the most overpowered hero. Pretty much taken into actual monolith with better cooldowns that's just insane oh my god guys so he's pretty overpowered or pretty much gonna be really buffed let's move on to lieutenant belka seismic assault damage type adjusted from energy to ability range has been reduced from 2000 to 1600 animation speeds has been increased projectile speed has been increased cooldown reduced from 18 17 16 15 to 15 seconds at all levels stun duration reduced from 1 1.4, 1.8, 2.2 to 0.7, 1.1, 1.5, 1.9 seconds. Oh my god, guys. It kind of got a nerf. If I want to say that, yes, it kind of got a nerf, sadly. But 
It'll be easy to hit. That's one good thing about it. Void Drone. Damage time adjusted from energy to ability. Mana drain increased from 2 to 10, 18, 26, and 34. Cooldown reduced from 60, 59, 58, 57 to 40 seconds out of all levels. If you place this actual Void Drone in the right location, you can drain so much mana from your enemy player and putting 5 points into it or 4 points into it, you can drain 34 mana per second. That is disgusting. And obviously if you're versing a caster, you make their days a living hell. Void Bomb. Damage type adjusted from energy to ability. Range has been reduced from 1500 to 900. Radius has been reduced from 750 to 625. Explosion delay has been reduced from 2.25 to 1 second. Cooldown has been reduced from 15, 14, 13, 12 to 6 seconds at all levels. Neural Disruptor, which is obviously the ultimate for Lieutenant Balka. Damage time adjusted from energy to ability. No longer deals base damage. Mana to damage multiplier adjusted to 0 0.8, 1 and 1.2. Cooldown reduced from 100, 90, 80, 200, 75 and 50 seconds. Some of the abilities have been nerfed, some of the abilities that have been buffed in certain ways. And if you know how to play Lieutenant Balka, I feel like this hero, and with all the changes, it's still going to be very useful. Let's move on to Narbash. March. Cooldown adjusted from 21, 19, 17, 15 to 24, 20, 16, 12 seconds. So obviously, he's very strong towards the end game with his March ability. Song of my people, new regen value set at 10, 20, 30, and 40. So that's better. Usually, I feel like it was like 2 or 5 at the start with Song of My People. The base stat. If you had 1 point into it, that's increased to 10. So that's very good. Uh, Thunk ability. Damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Cooldown adjusted from 18, 17, 16, 15 to 12 seconds at all levels. The playmaker Thunk, you can get more often. That's amazing. Crash Bang Boom. Damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Cooldown reduced from 100, 90, 80, 285, 70 seconds. So looking at Narbash, he looks like he's in a very good position. So if you know how to play him already, you're going to be pretty overpowered on him. So enjoy that. Let's move on to the next hero, and that is Rampage. Boulder Throw is his first ability. Damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Animation speed has been increased. Projectile speed has been increased. Cooldown reduced from 18, 17, 16, 15 to 14 seconds at all levels. King of the Jungle. Health regen reduced to 0.5, 1, 1.5, and 2 from 2.25. 4.5, 6.75, 9 per second. In the jungle, health regen adjusted to 3, 6, 9, 12 from 4.2 seconds. So obviously, they want you to play the Rampage in the jungle because obviously, he's the king of the jungle. Let's move on to the next ability, and that's Pounce. Damage type adjusted from physical to ability. Animation speed has been increased. Cooldown reduced from 20 to 10 seconds at all levels. Enrage can now move while transforming. Cooldown reduced from 185, 70 to 80, 60, 40 seconds. So even though they've changed some of the stats, I pretty much is just forcing the players to play Rampage in the jungle. And majority of players do play Rampage in the jungle, so it works out pretty well. And this completes part one of all the hero updates, reworks, and changes coming in patch version 35. So expect part two to come out very soon. But mates, I want to know your thoughts about this video. What do you think about the heroes? And did your main hero get affected in a good way or in a bad way? Leave your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. And pretty much what we're trying to do with this video is go through every exact change of every hero because it's always good to know every change to the hero, not just know the main ones because sometimes the small ones are in very important changes as well. So mates, if you did enjoy this video, show us by smashing that like, like button. Let's try to get 175 likes on this video. If you guys want to see more Paragon Gaming content and Paragon Gaming news on my channel, all you have to do is share this with your friends and hit the subscribe button to come mate today. Those all for this video, oh time's good, but don't you worry. We're we'll back very soon. Hey Jazz Boys, you can answer nothing yet. And mates, I'm kind of surprised that I have to make parts towards these videos because there's so much information, it's actually unbelievable. But the hype is always there, and the changes are all the things that we need to know to keep you guys up to date with the greatest and latest Paragon Gaming content. <laughs> Saying that it feels right.